Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, we are coming here to provide information for you. And what we're doing is we're doing a reluctant video, to say the least. Many people over the years have asked if they could donate to this organization and donate to myself, my person. And you notice that I only allowed it once and only for a short period of time. And what we did is we provided many of you with an offset of what you donated. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who donated to this organization, you do know you get to write that junk off, right? Please understand that. And so what I am reluctantly doing, but I told the staff that we ended up having no choice for me but to do this, is I am now saying that if you wish to donate, we put the link underneath one of the videos and we'll put that link underneath the video, this video. If you wish to donate, you can do so at that link only. There is no set amount or anything. This is to let you know, you know me. You know that I would never place something like that on my channel. Go back and look at my history. Been doing this since 2010. And none of my channels have you ever seen that on. When other people have even attempted to do it, you've seen my outrage. Especially when they do it claiming to be me. There are so many people out there pretending to be me on YouTube and pretending to be me on Gmail. Y'all know better. All of my emails are listed underneath this video. Did that on purpose. Why? So that if you get an email from someplace else, especially if it, is, if it isn't, from one of our channels, if it's just coming from some stupid Gmail, that is not us. We do everything through the company. That was intentional. That's why we got the emails for the company. So those of you who have been schemed, those of you who've been swandered, those of you who've been manipulated, those of you who've been taken to the so-called cleaners, you do get to write that stuff off. So on the SACOM channel, that's what I'm going to focus on taking the time to tell you. We told you the last time, you don't get something for nothing. Okay? And you don't get nothing for something. We're always going to give you more than what you have given us. For instance, I was upset about a young man who did 1099s and he put our company's names on the 1099s. As if we owed him something. Well, he's later gotten in touch with us and did let us know that it was a mistake and that he was sorry for that, that he did not intend that to be the case. And we accept his apology. We believe that it probably was a mistake on his part. I, I had a problem with the fact that he didn't respond as soon as we would have expected him to respond. And that could have been for one reason or another. He may not have gotten the original email. But he did let us know, and when he did let us know, he had taken care of it. Uh, as a matter of fact, when he emailed us back, we had just received the day after notification in the mail, which means that he had done it prior to him letting us know that he had took care of it. And so that matter has been resolved. But again, as we said, we I was upset because I'm like, wait a minute, the fact that we're giving you guys five, ten, a hundred times more than you've ever given us, and here somebody's doing this to us? For what reason? And I couldn't understand it. I couldn't understand how can you go out of your way to help people, and then people go out of their way to hurt you. I didn't understand that because I, I have a difficult time with stuff like that. Well, it was a mistake. And he brought it to our attention, and we have resumed any and all work on his file and we have ceased any and all claims against that individual because we were getting ready to because there are things that legally a person can do to that's why you have to be legitimate you have to be able to document your credits you cannot just sit up there and say i got 180,000 credits no, you have to be able to document, and you have to be able to document that you notified the party that you went ahead and gave them an opportunity to respond and all of that stuff. You must be able to document that there is a legitimate debt. Pay attention to this, ladies and gentlemen. 
I was speaking with a young man today and he, I was believing that the conversation was going to be on a different subject. It turns out that it wasn't on a subject I thought it was going to be on, but the subject that was actually on <laughs> I was talking about arbitrations and how you guys can get your awards confirmed without going to a judge. You can get your awards confirmed without going to a judge. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sitcom Arbitration Association has a, um, it's not an arbitration rehearing, but you're going back to the arbitrator, letting them know that the individuals have not complied with the arbitration. And there is a method of getting a judgment from the court. Okay, we will start talking to all the clients about this and notifying them about this. And we're going to be offering this program to individuals who are incarcerated and those who have child support. I promise you, enough of all of this people taking advantage of you. Again, ladies and gentlemen, in 2021, many of you helped by donating and your donations, especially one gentleman, his donations. And I really hope that the information on the taxes, when we finally finish that and have the tax agents on this program, talk to you and tell you exactly what goes on in the form, why the form is being filled out this way or that way. And part of your donations will be allowing me to pay for their time because this is tax season. They can't just be on my channel talking to me with me wasting their time. It's not a waste of time for me. It's not a waste of time for you, but it's a waste of their time because they're making money this time of year. And in order for me to pull them away, I'm going to need to be able to uh, pat their little pockets. Now, many of them will do it out of respect for me, but I can't take that type of advantage of them. Does that make sense to any of you? And so if you'd like to help us to help you, remember, it's not that this information is only for educational purposes. That ain't the point. You've always heard me say every adult must do their own research and homework. So we're going to help you with your research and homework. We just gave you a website where you can go and do your tax forms for free. Somebody brought that to my attention. The very same lady who's they have been doing taxes for several years and they have done theirs and they figured out how to write off the credits and how to apply it so that they can get a refund. Just that simple. And there is an understanding as to what they did. Okay, but we can't tell it to you guys because if we do in bulk, then that creates a problem for everybody. And we can't, we can't allow that to happen like that. So you guys will pardon me if I don't just spill all the beans and put all the tea out in the middle of the field. Okay, some of y'all going to have to come in and eat. Okay, just sorry. That's the only way it can be. You cannot just sit back and spogisborg off of somebody else's product, somebody else's work. All right, but we're going to get with that. We're going to talk to you guys about that. We're going to let you know. You're going to find out. You're going to get the information. We're not going to leave you in limbo. We can't tell you exactly what to do. We can't tell you exactly how to do this, how to perform that, how to take care of this. But what we can do and we will do is we will give you some pointers, some clues, some ways of doing things to be able to take care of things so that you can get things done. Okay? No more simple than that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the link, if you'd like to make donations to help out, because, sorry, I can't do the court thing and then do the tax thing and then educate people at the same time. Uh, I can't afford it. It's too much. Okay? It, it will be too much for me. And so, no, you're not paying my rent. Notice how nobody's been paying anything for me all this time. I can tow my own rule. The only problem is if I'm going to take the time to show all of you about the credits and how to get those applied so that you can get a refund. If I'm going to take the time to show all of you who've done arbitrations how to go back, get that arbitration award con confirmed by the court without it being called an actual confirming, it's actually a judgment, which is exactly what the code says. Go back and read the Federal Arbitration Act, Section 9, and you'll see 
that it is a judgment of the court as determined by the Supreme Court. And we'll show you how to get that judgment. That's what we're doing for our arbitration people, the people who are incarcerated, who have been unjustly or wrongfully convicted and held in jail beyond their statute of limitations in California. Do you not know, ladies and gentlemen, that it is against the law in California for anyone to be sentenced to an indeterminate sentence, indeterminate 25 to life, 30 to life, 15 to life, 7 to 13, 15 to 18 years. They cannot do that in California. It's illegal. The people voted that that is illegal. And to this day, the courts keep sentencing people to 25 to life, 30 to life, 40 to life, 5 to 15 years. They keep sentencing people to these indeterminate sentencing, which is against the law in the state, has been against the law. I got the system to provide me over 30 cases showing that it's against the law in the state of California. So why do they keep doing it? Well, these individuals are being unlawfully incarcerated. And they have a right to bring forth an arbitration. So we're reducing the fee for the arbitration so that those individuals will have access to arbitration. And we will show them how to get a judgment and that judgment, how to get it enforced. Because it is a judgment of the court. And that's how we will demonstrate this to them, including the people with child support. Ladies and gentlemen, there are three things that you need to know about child support. One. The money comes from the government, doesn't come from the state. Social Security gives the state money, and so does the housing, not housing, but uh, health and human services. They give the state money for every woman and child in the state. That includes you because you men were children at one point. Pay attention. Every woman and child, that's why they say child. They don't just say all females. They say every woman and child because all men used to be children. The only two men in the history of existence. Well, no, actually, let's correct that. There were more. Okay. The ones who came down during the flood, prior to the flood, they were grown men. They did not have childhoods. Jesus had a childhood, didn't he? But Adam did not. So, women and children, that implies children who have grown up because remember anybody who's under the age of the majority or who has attained the age of the majority remains under the age of the majority so long as they have not gained the control of the securities held in their minor account so that means the government is responsible for them social security so they provide monies to the state so you don't owe child support you never did they have not even proved to you that you owe child support they just said that you owe child support and you didn't rebut their presumption well ladies and gentlemen I call myself the presumption killer because if you notice, that's all I do is rebut whatever junk they say with their own junk. Why? Because they can't be allowed to continue doing this to people. So we're going to be helping those individuals with child support the very same way that we're helping people with these homes for which they've been having their rights violated. Now, every single one of our clients None of the so-called creditors have complied with the agreement. All of our powers of attorneys have arbitration clauses in them. And no one has ever objected to the contract, ever. But they've not provided what was required under the contract. And thus, they will be subject to arbitration and we will get a judgment against them on behalf of our client. This is what we're doing. It is a lot of work. And so in less than a minute, if you wish to contribute to help so that I can do this for them and you, if you are one of them, because we're putting the documents into court, our clients, the only thing they're paying for is the filing. They're not paying for the production of the document. Then go ahead and check with attorneys and see how much they charge to produce a motion for court. We have four motions that are going into court, each of them over 10 pages long. Okay, the amount of research, the amount of time that goes into that, but nobody's paid us for that. No, we're not asking for anybody to pay for that. No, we did that because that's who we are. But uh, several people have helped me to understand that I can't keep doing this, and they've forced me in many ways to say, I need your help. So please, underneath the video is a link. If you'd like to donate, that link is there for you. Only for a short time, though. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a good day.